Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna go through my empties today. These are the empty products I finished up over in July. So there's quite a few, and let's get right into it. So first, I wanna put this Lush item aside to turn back into Lush so I can get, you know, a free product from the empty containers. This is the Dream Cream um, by Lush. It's a hand and body lotion. I like this, it kinda of smells like lavender and oatmeal, but, you know, these aren't as natural as they claim to be. They do contain parabens, I believe they are naturally occurring parabens though, so I need to do a little more research um, just to get better educated on what kind of chemicals Lush products do contain, but I know they are fresh and they are handmade, so it's like better than paying up a lotion at like a drugstore or something like that that has a lot of chemicals in it, but this is somewhat natural. And I like this for my hands and my feet, but it wasn't anything spectacular, and it's definitely something I wouldn't go out of my way to spend my money on. So I got this as a gift, and yeah, I'll be bringing this back to Lush so I can get a free face mask when you bring back five of these black containers. Another product I got for free that I wasn't too fond of was this Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Night Cream with Clary Sage. I got this as part of an influencer box. No, I got this as part of a clout perk, and it was, I knew going into it that this wouldn't be for me. This is really geared for people with extremely dry skin. It was a really, really thick cream that never really absorbed into my skin at night, and I just really didn't like it. So what I ended up using this for, because it's all gone, I used this as a hand cream and I absolutely loved it. So, you know, I repurposed it for something totally different and it was actually good that way. So I didn't let any go to waste. And yeah, so maybe maybe good for people with dry skin, not recommended for people with oily or like normal skin because it's just too thick and it doesn't blend well. So great for a hand cream though. I finished up a tube of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, you know, after a couple months, these get really, really thick and clumpy and hard to work with, and it's just too much effort. So this one's going to be tossed, but I will be buying it again, so I love this mascara. I used up a sample of the Benefit Professional Primer. I really like this stuff. Um, it really just helps, like, erase the pores of my nose and in, like, this area. But, like I, like I said with other products, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, but having a sample was really nice. And maybe I will buy it in the future, but not really a huge priority right now. I could live without it, but it really does make your makeup look better when you have this on. One product that I am throwing out this month is this extremely old eyeliner. And I'm not sure what the brand is. I know I definitely got it from the drugstore. It might be NYC. And it's a brown eyeliner. Sorry, it's dark brown eyeliner. And here's what it looks like. But it's literally so dried out and gross that like it's just it's really hard to work with like i have to press really hard to make any line or any product show up and it's just really old i think it's definitely way past its expiry date and it's just gonna be tossed it needs to go finished up with johnson's baby shampoo i have been working on this bottle for a long time and i use this to clean my makeup brushes i find that it really keeps the hairs nice and soft and pliable but it doesn't like strip them you know what I mean so really good for washing your brushes and I will definitely buy it again finish up a bottle of the opti free replenish contact lens solution I buy that every month I finish up a candle uh, I don't finish up candles every month so this is pretty cool this is the sensational natural soy candle I got it at TJ Maxx for $6.99 and the scent was tropical paradise definitely has notes of like mango and pineapple and coconut in it and I really like this candle it burned pretty clean and it burned for many many hours so it didn't really burn that evenly as you can see but it was so cheap that I'm not really too upset about it so yeah I recommend checking out your TJ Maxx for good deals on candles and they have a lot of natural soy candles there in the mix of things so keep an eye out for this brand sensational I finished up a shave gel this is the up and up brand smoothing shave gel with soy this is from target and i really like this it smells kind of like play-doh and marzipan it's really interesting but this gives you a really close shave um and it's really thick and easy to work with and i like it a lot better than the other shave gel i finished up which is the skin to mint but i totally prefer this one the only reason i have this is because this one is often sold out and they don't sell it on target.com so you know, this is like my backup, and then this is the one I really prefer, so totally recommend getting this. This is the Deep Steep Argan Oil Sugar Scrub. I got this at TJ Maxx on sale. The scent is warm vanilla and coconut, and this is like a natural kind of a sugary scrub that's really, really hydrating, but also exfoliating in the shower. I love this product, but I hated the packaging. 
the bottle was really hard to squeeze because it's like really stiff and I never was able to get it out of this. I always had to unscrew this and squeeze it out into my palm. It got to the point where, you know, there's like product stuck in the top. I had to like bend it and the side actually like broke and like the product was oozing out of the side of it. So it was really messy in the shower and that's why there's like gunk all over it. If this product came in a jar, I would like it a whole lot better, but unfortunately I think it's still in the squeeze tube. But yeah, the Deep Steep brand is pretty good and the products are cruelty free and don't contain parabens or unnatural ingredients like that. So I really like this and it smelled delicious. I used up a tub of the Macadamia Natural Oil. This is a deep hair repair mask that is extremely nourishing to damage and dry and color treated hair. I didn't use this up in a whole month. This was a couple months coming, but this product's kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it. Um, it really leaves your hair silky, soft, manageable, and just easy to brush through when you get out of the shower. I have extremely fine, textured, and tangly hair, so a deep conditioner really goes a long way in how my hair feels and the amount of breakage I have. So I really, really like this, and it's a pretty deep tub, so it's about $33. It smells so good, and you get quite a bit of product, so... It will definitely last you, I don't know, six months maybe? Depending on how often you use it. I use it about once a week. So I love this stuff. Totally will repurchase it again. Another hair care product I finished up was this L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Intense Nourishing Conditioner. This is the one formulated for dry to very dry hair, which I am working on. I used to have bleach blonde hair, then I had golden blonde hair, and now I'm back to my natural brunette color. I haven't colored my hair in about nine months, and no, longer than that. Well, since I went back to brown, but I haven't bleached it in over a year, so it's it's on its way to recovery, and like the broken pieces are growing out, the hair breakage that turn into bangs is kind of growing out, so we're getting there, and this product has definitely helped me on that journey. This is my everyday conditioner. When I say every day, you know, every other day when I do shower and wash my hair. So I love this stuff. It's extremely nourishing and hydrating. It rinses clean and it leaves your hair so silky, smooth, and soft. I love it. Good stuff right here. And it's from the drugstore. I got this hand wash at TJ Maxx. It's a foaming hand soap. It is by the brand Organic Indulgence and the scent is White Nectarine and Orange Blossom. I love the scent of the soap and the fact that it was free of sulfates parabens, it was also cruelty free and a lot of other things free, but I just come to the realization that I don't really like foaming hand soaps. My hands never really feel clean totally afterwards, I just feel like they don't do a lot and they're really diluted with water. So since then I've switched over to a new soap that I like from Trader Joe's, but this one, you know, it was kind of an impulse buy at TJ Maxx, it was $3.99. It's, it's alright, but not my favorite, so I won't be buying this again. I finished up a pack of the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. I use these about once or twice a week if I'm really on top of things, and they really just work. They work. If you use them once a week, you're going to get a lot of stuff out of your pores and your nose. I get a lot of blackheads on my nose, and I just need to do this once a week just to stay on top of stuff. So they kind of hurt when you pull them out, but they're totally effective, and in my book, that's worth it to me. So this is a pack of 14, so went through them in maybe two or three months time, so I'll definitely be buying these again. Love them. I finished up a Trader Joe's jojoba oil. This is 100% pure jojoba oil, and I use this to take off my eye makeup and face makeup at night. It's really gentle, really soothing, and yeah, it's easy to pick up. I get it at Trader Joe's, my local grocery store, so super simple, super natural, and a great makeup remover. Okay, and then I brought this in the bag only to remind myself that I finished up the Snow Cake Soap by Lush. It was this bar soap in the shape of a star right there, and it smelled like Mars Pan. It was really, really yummy smelling in the shower, but it didn't really do too much. I'm not really a big fan of bar soaps, but I suppose if you like bar soaps, this would be a cool one to check out from Lush. It was nice, but nothing like spectacular or game changing, to me at least. So yeah, that was a Snow Cake Soap by Lush. And last but not least, I included this because I finished up a brush head but I threw it out. But here's the box. This is the Clarisonic Deep Pore Cleansing Brush Head. Comes in a pack of two from Nordstrom um, or Sephora or wherever you shop. It looks like this on the shelf and you, you're supposed to cycle these out every three or so months. Yeah, they're kind of pricey. It's two for 40 or one for 25 and so I have the new brush head on my brush right now and I'll be buying these definitely again in the future. So that's it for my July empties. I hope you guys made it to the end. I know empties are sometimes the longest videos that I film and hopefully you find them useful or entertaining or 
something like that. So hopefully you found this useful, found some new products to pick up or avoid next time you're at the store. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video.